Last time we worked on the grass. This time we're gonna improve it. This is how the grass looks right now. It looks okay, but we can do better. The first thing we're gonna add is instancing. Imagine you call someone, and when they pick up the phone, you say exactly one word, then hang up the phone. Just to call again to say the next word, and so on. Sounds stupid, right? Well, that's what we're doing with the grass blades. We're drawing them one at a time. Instead, we can send instance attributes to our shader the same way we send vertex attributes. I don't know if it changed the performance, but it did change my sanity. Also, as you can see, I removed all the animations and curves since we're starting from scratch. Next thing on our list is frustum calling. Basically speaking, we're gonna ignore all of the grass blades except the ones that are inside of our view frustum. Because right now the FPS is low even when we're not looking at them. First I followed this tutorial hoping it would work. It did work but in an opposite way. Then I found another tutorial and decided to try it as well. Here's our frustum. We're gonna make 6 planes that are facing the inside of it. Then we're just gonna check to see whether our object is in front of all the planes. And this time it worked flawlessly. This is so satisfying to watch. We can further optimize this by using quad trees in SIMD, but I mean come on, lower your expectations. Let's also add face calling. We added face calling. I think we can pause on optimization and start improving the visuals. Right now our grass blades only have 4 sides. Why not increase it by adding more vertices to the base? Oh, that's why. I forgot to multiply by thickness. There we go. Now our grass blades look a lot smoother. If you're like me and like to build projects like these for fun, then check out our today's sponsor JetBrains. Most people don't know this, but JetBrains provides developers with free IDEs for non-commercial use. Which means if you're a hobby programmer working on a side project, or you're trying to learn a language with practice, these IDEs are perfect for you. JetBrains offers professional-grade tools that cover various popular programming languages which are perfect for educational or creative purposes. For example, you can use CLion if you want to program in C and C++. They also have integrated AI that can assist you if you need it. Non-commercial license offers a free tire which you can later upgrade to a more advanced one. They're probably limited and don't have some features like the paid ones since they're free. That's the thing, the non-commercial license is full featured, same as the paid version. You can download them right now for free and start using them for your side projects. Link is in the description. At this point I thought to myself, since we can now change the number of sides of our grass blades, why not introduce LODs? Grass blades that are close to us will have a lot of sides, and the ones that are far from us will only have 3 sides. I had to make separate models for each LOD. I don't know if you can see it, but I can assure you the models are changing. Also, we're not drawing blades when they're too far away, which is not that far. I'll change that, don't worry. It's time we added a little randomness to our grass. Our grass blades will have two values that define their direction. The first one defines which direction they're looking, and the second one defines how much they're bending over. You also made fun of me for not adding random lengths, so I'm gonna fix that as well. Perfect. This looks so beautiful. Uh-huh. What? Oh, nothing. What is it? Well, actual professionals would have added realistic curves, but for people like you, I guess it's okay. We're adding realistic curves. First we need to divide our grass blades vertically by adding extra vertices. Is it 1 plus C modulo A or is it just C? I did it. I've lost my sanity but I did it. This is harder than it looks. For bending we're gonna use the good old skeletal animation. We're gonna rotate the vertices around each level's origin using this function. And I just realized that all of our optimization efforts are going to trash after this. Now you gotta agree that this looks better than what we had previously. I actually disagree, it looks really bad. It's perfect, moving on. Let's animate them by adding the swaying. I already explained how it works in the previous part. We're just working with angles this time. You know, this reminds me of those Japanese cartoons I like to watch. Since we added the swaying, why not add the wind? The wind direction will change the direction of the grass blades, and the speed will change their bend and their sway speed. This is no wind, this is some wind, and this is lot wind. And we can also change the direction. I would love to finish the video here, but we still have one thing to add. 
Yes, gentlemen, I'm talking about the lighting. It didn't look good last time, but I'm hoping that smooth grass place with realistic curves will fix it. I'm also using the advanced stuff like materials, so it better work. Please, for the love of God, I beg you. <sighs> Such a shame. Oh wait, we didn't add anti-aliasing. I bet if we add it, the jagged edges will disappear, the grass will look good and- No. It's like putting lipstick on a pig. Well, at least the colors look good. Wait a minute. If OpenGL interpolates colors between the vertices, won't it do the same thing for the normal vectors? Let's find out. Oh my god. Can't believe the solution was so simple. Is this what they call tessellation? Look at this. This blade only has three sides, yet it's so smooth. Well, we finally did it, guys. We made the grass realistic. If you have any suggestions on how to improve this project, please leave a comment. Big thanks to these amazing people who supported me on Patreon. Especially Adam Kanzler and Kartoffelbauer1000. Like and subscribe, and join our Discord server. Thanks for watching.